Remember, these are memorial trees planted in memory of the people of Kilve and Holford who participated in the wars. I'm not sure if it was just which war it was or whether it was both. Um, I'm not sure if they all died in it or just they're just remembered for serving. I'm not sure really, but when I came up here about a month ago, there was a hunt on over here. I could see the horses and everything. Um, I found out that the the trees had been planted in memory of there's a plaque there, there's a stone there and the kids had um, decorated pebbles like they have in Grove Park and with poppies on them and all sorts I'm just coming now to see if they've done anything in particular for the hundred year centenary now last time I stood here there was a hunt going on, I heard stags making really screeching noises I could hear hounds and I seen horses but they've just got let off in court for not 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 doing it but they're lawyers well, everybody knows that they're killing killing the deer and they're doing it in a horrible way that's the worst part of it they're hunting you know it's not just culling exactly it's and they're not even doing that very nice with the badgers they've made it a sport yeah, they should all be bloody shot themselves for doing it. I think it's terrible. I really do in this day and age. Like savages. I don't agree with it. I've been on hunt when I was younger, 16, 17. I never liked it really. I, I went for the horse riding experience. I loved going out with all the horses. And I really loved all that. But I didn't like the hunt bit. And fortunately, when I was on it, they never caught nothing. <laughs> yeah, that was years ago when I was very young, living in Devon, Dartmoor area. I used to be down those stables every weekend, mucking and cleaning out and getting a two-hour free ride on a Sunday across Dartmoor, or parts of Dartmoor, I should say. Yeah, I used to love it there. It was like my second home down there on that farm. Those stables, they really looked after me. They, they really did. I loved it there. Right, anyway, that's all memorising. Um, I'll take some photos in a minute. I just, while I've got the video running, I'll just go over to the plaque. It doesn't look like there's anything particular standing out here. I, I thought it would be a lot more decorated personally. Maybe it's been forgotten or maybe they'll do it later I was written there were flowers and stuff lying around last time I came no well I am surprised I really am surprised this is quite a shock I thought they would have coloured in the pebbles a bit more and perhaps you know I met pretty they'd done a big display they got the flags and everything these trees were planted to commemorate the men and women of Holford and Kilve who served in the war of 1939 to 1945. There's a pebble missing. Maybe because it wasn't the Great War, they've um, downplayed it. But they could have, someone could have let the kids come up here and paint the stones, couldn't they? They're beautiful, the ones in Grove Park in Weston. Never mind. I thought I'd just come and have a look. I am surprised they haven't done anything, brighten it up a bit. I am, I am quite, not shocked, but I'm surprised. Over and out. we just have a quick look round. I'll take some photos in a minute because somebody might come. I can hear a whistle. There's my beautiful Holford. Holford Glen, Holford Coombe, Hodder's Coombe, Slaughterhouse Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe, Frog's Coombe, if I haven't said it before. Absolutely beautiful in the mist. So we've got, even though we haven't got the blue sky, we've had the rusty reds, the oranges and yellows. That's made up for having no blue sky. And now we've got this mist 
this mild mist descending now yeah I've had a lovely walk today the the coom I came down I've got to find out his name because I've forgotten but basically that coom was beautiful and it went on for ages yeah I'm surprised the person there was normally there was um flowers here I am quite surprised really that nothing's here nothing at all not a not even like, I thought the trees might have been decorated with poppies or something. I can't believe it. That seems very solemn. I must admit, I'm. It's like they haven't been remembered. That's what I think. You have though. I've come now. I know you're here. Over and out. Take some pictures now. Right then. I've been down that way quite a few times and up that way. I've just put a little stone for Jude, my sister Jude here. People do that, you know, to remember family and that. It's a small car at the moment. And I put that on there for her because I do miss my sister. Her kindness. That's what I miss. It wasn't spiteful or nasty. She was lovely. She never judged me. And I hope her spirit is up around this way. I'm sure it will be. She loved this place. She would have been here, where I'm standing. She would have passed that fire beaters there. I can't believe, she, I still can't believe she's gone. I miss her, I miss her. I haven't, I'd miss her like I miss my mum. I can't believe she's gone either. There's no point saying, oh, I should have done that and that. You can't do nothing about it. She was still my sister and I loved her a lot. And I've told her so. And she told me. That's all that matters now. That we both knew that. I wanted to spend more time with her for years, really. I often wish I could have. But, you know, life is strange. I mean, it is. We've lost the closeness. <sighs> you know, everything changes you sometimes. Busy lives. Events, situations. But she was always very special. To me. A special bond I had with Jude. And I will never, ever forget her. Ever. Can't. I come up here because I love it as well. I never used to feel sad all the time. I used to come up here to reflect. I, and I'm still doing that and I, I don't feel sad all the time. I, I love the, the different seasons and the trees. But I made a much bigger effort this year to come up as much as I can. While I still can. While I've got a vehicle to bring me out here. Okay, I could get other people to bring me out, but I will, I don't do that. You know, it's probably better than nothing, I suppose, people will say. Now, I'm doing videos. I'm taking in the scenery, just like she did in her last year of life. She came out as much as she could to the places she loved. That's what we share, this place. I probably have to edit some of this out because um, people get upset if you put it on. You, you have to keep, so you're not really allowed to share your feelings. It's still like that, you know. Right, anyway, that's, we, we won't worry about that now. We're, I'm in Old Foxen Park area. We're Old Foxen Houses. I've never walked, I, I might have walked down here, I can't really remember. Sometimes I think I did it with Georgia once that we came down here, but I'm not sure. <sighs> but the other side of that fence is Old Foxton Park. And, um, and I, the, one of the reasons I wanted to walk past here was, this is where the deer come, and they, they've been coming here for a 
centuries since Wordsworth's time. They they loved this place. They feel safe here. I was and there was a stag making a lot of noise in there last time I came. But they might all be out on the hills, munching and doing eating whatever while they can before the winter. Not quite sure how they survive in the winter. I don't even know if the farmers give them anything to eat. I don't know. One minute they're trying to kill them, and then they, they might actually... I think they do care about them in a way, you know. It's just farm life, isn't it? In a minute, we'll, we might see the plantation trees again, the big, tall memorial trees that I've just visited. Um, to see if they'd done anything for this hundred years and they hadn't but then it was only remembering the Second World War people there so um, I still think they could have put a bit of colour there though so it wasn't all about just the First World War I mean that was part that was a main part of it but people in the other wars were remembered it was still Remembrance Sunday Yeah, I think it looks sad, really. I really did. Just one little cross there. Let's have a look in case we see anything. Yes, yeah, so I imagine Wordsworth would have roamed about in there in the past. Reflecting, creating, thinking, philosophizing. And Dorothy. These are old trees. They could have been here when he was here. They could have been planted as babies. <sighs> now, I don't think I've ever walked. I've walked down part of it, down the bottom. Yes, of course I have. So I deliberately walked round. So there's the plantation trees. Right through there. That's where I was a minute ago. I deliberately walked round to finish the walk by doing this. Now, because my camera can be naughty, I'm going to have to turn it off and then come back on again. So I'm just turning it off a minute. 